Hello and welcome to Tykes TV. Uh, Neil, as you uh, as usual, and today I've got Steve on. So, Steve, great to have you on again, mate. Well, what is my friend? Uh, yeah, I mean, where do we start? I mean, debacle. I mean, some are calling it debacle. <laughs> some are saying we're not going back to Barnsley while this is in charge. Again, all been screaming out for strikers, attacking options, players. What's coming? To be fair, some you know some do look decent, but I think it's that missing striker and then obviously Callum Styles scenario where do you start Steve I mean I know. Uh, just, to, just just to throw that uh, two of the good as they say yeah. uh, awful news coming in yeah uh, I don't know are you aware of Gaz? Do you know Gaz? Yeah, I've, I've known Gaz. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm on about doing a live tonight just to do a, a tribute. But yeah, sad, I'll, sad news, I'll sad just news. well, I'll just I'll just uh, my little piece like yeah, obviously man, yeah. devastating news like uh, yeah, read it read it on BBS. Uh, obviously, his brother put a message on. Uh, hmm. I've 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 obviously left a message missing. Absolutely yeah. devastating news. What a bloke. Yeah. Uh, Met him, spoke to him, had a good laugh with him in Manx away games on Manx bus. Uh, top top fella, Barnsley through and through. Yeah, do all for you. Uh, he was involved with bits and bobs charity. I mean, he was supposed to be walking to Hillsborough tomorrow, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, he was. for charity for McMillan. I think it was for McMillan. Uh, mm. You know what I mean? Obviously, others will still be. Going ahead, I should imagine, but it'll not be the same with Artem because he'll have probably organised it all. He's probably won it. Him and Judy will be he's one of his mates, like, and uh, it's awful. Oh, uh, obviously, help, help down, help, help down fans, even West Ham Bogs fans, everything. Mm. I've, I've known him years, years, I mean, since early 80s, probably. And he's been everywhere, home and away. Just devastating news. Uh, me, me, uh, that goes out to all his family. Uh, it's awful. God bless him. That's all I can say. Yeah, that fan out this day, and it not me sick. It not me sideways. Well, it, it's like I just couldn't believe it. It was just uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was uh, having a chat, uh, up and day, and having a banter. And he's one of them. If you didn't get on, if you didn't laugh or laugh with him, was some it up. It, it, it oh, for anybody. Oh <laughs> yeah, I, I've not seen him this season because I called it Manx after the game. That's where I used to see him. Like, and mm. I'm, obviously, I don't know where he sits in that. He don't sit near me, so I don't see him. Up. But like, like you say, uh, uh, messages of co uh, condolences yeah. uh, on, on BBS is unbelievable. That just. Uh, he posted on there as well. Not everybody knew him personally, but he posted on there. But so he's got messages from them. But like people who know him, everyone not a bad word to say about him. You know what I mean? He what? He what? Well, a right guy. That's all. That's all I can add to it. Like you know what I mean? I've said what I've said. Like you know what I mean? It's sad day. I mean, I will message me as well and tell me. Mm. But I've seen it on BBS. So awful news. So, yeah. mate, I forgot what your first question was, Neil. <laughs> it's right. Just echo them thoughts and yeah, uh, yeah, to his friends and family and all his loved yeah. ones and that. Uh, you know, his thoughts are weird through this hard, difficult time. Um, and it puts it kind of puts football in perspective, doesn't it? When you when you see a good a good bloke like that, a good human being, uh, mm. it kind of puts it second to none. But yeah, uh, condolences. Uh, yeah, uh, just about the transfer situation. I mean, players coming in, going out. Um, were you surprised that, you know, certain areas won't, you know, people like kind of saying that striker situation, we need a striker in, if not one, maybe two, but you didn't come about. Is, have you got any worries about it, Steve? Yeah, yeah. I said, I said we definitely need one, if not two. Uh, we've addressed right wing back. Well, right back, and we like so we've got cover in there. Hmm. But did we need these the, the other two? Hmm. Did we need them? Uh, obviously, you could say, well, yeah, we needed one of them because Styles has gone out, gone out, and so he comes yeah. in. Oh, 
You know what I mean? He can cover for uh, other defender can cover for Williams, and Williams can play in a back three. So there's pros. Yeah, I know what people are saying. Striker, what main strikers, what main two? They goals win your football matches, Neil. And at this minute in time. I know it's early in season, but who's going to get us goals? Who's mm. going to get us goals? Mm. Uh, it was paramount, wasn't it, really? To, uh, but I'm reading this about a second. Yeah, well, what do you make I'm about not, it? It seems to be like well, some discontent there, don't be some weird outline. Well, my view on it, my view on it, I'm, I'm read what Duff said like he's not pulling up no trees in training to warrant a place on in squad. Yeah. But then I'm hearing at board sticking the neb in and saying, well, we don't want to play, we don't want him gain injured, we're trying to get rid of him. Yeah. But to me, to me, he should be playing really then. Teams need to look at him and you know what I mean? They're not gonna sell him if he ain't playing. Mm. It's bad enough for Styles. We could we ain't got rid of Styles, and he's been playing. Hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. You don't know what to believe here because Duff so saying said, one. Yeah, go on. Well, Duff say one thing, and then he's posted some in it, but I ain't read it right. But hmm. so you might be able to clear that up what he said. But my take on it, I think. Club are wanting him off wages. Yeah. Um, after, uh, what, what he put on, I think what's happened, because it, that post has been, he's removed it off his, off his social media thing like now, but right. I think for me, what's happened is that last season, we didn't really have a strong enough manager in, in Duff what we've got now, right? And under, mm. under Shop and Aspargy, I don't think we're strong enough. And I think what's happened is that Duff's come in, he's said it how it is, you know, and I'm thinking... Mm. The players are not liking it because they're having to run mm. harder, run faster, and put the work effort and workload in. And someone, what well, someone said, and we compared it to this, and I, I kind of agree, is that it's like you're going to school, your teachers on it all the time for your work. Yeah. That teacher goes off, and you get a supply teacher in. And yeah. You tend to mess about and mm. get away with it. Your teacher goes oh. back and tells you that. And, but I'm thinking at yeah. the end of the day, you're getting paid a wage, you're a professional, you either up your game and you put a shift in. You know mm. what I mean? You, you can't use that as an excuse, you know. Oh, I totally get that. Listen, they had it, too, they had it easy last season. Yeah. They had it yeah. easy. Dis Discipline-wise, they had it yeah. easy. Yeah. Because it, because it, uh, manage, uh, two managers once obviously strong enough. You, know? mm. you know what I mean? So so now it's a big comeuppance to them. Mm. You know what I mean? And like we, we saw we, we Britain and Styles at, and Woodrow at times. Some of their and I've I've gone on on about it before. Their body language, it was like they didn't like it as such, you know. We, not Woodrow, but this uh, what who took over when uh, he left? Got my mind's what who took over when uh, Ash Baggy left? It was uh, Devaney, didn't it? Devaney had a uh, Devaney uh, and Lawman. Yeah, Lawman. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Did you, you know what I mean? It were like the down tools and yeah, didn't they? And that and it, it's a poor, poor attitude, poor attitude. And if the seconds, if the seconds don't say them, then club do right trying to get him off books. But are they going to get money back what they paid for him? I get that they need to get wages off, but but is it any worse than what's been playing though, Neil? Well, yeah, I mean, you you question it, don't you? I mean, uh, Clark Adu has gone out on loan. He went out on loan to out the pool. Jasper Moon's mm. been playing in under 23s and he played in under 23s again today. So he's not getting looking at first team. So again, back he, 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 he is, no, Moon needs to go out on loan. Yeah. That Moon needs to go out. Is that Duff go. again has come in and identified it and said, yeah, you're not, unfortunately, you're not going to for League One. You're going to have to go out on loan. But mm. last season, we we're playing him in Championship. Even though we all knew we could see what faults were. No faults at kid. Kid was struggling. He wants to well, go out and launch somewhere. Well, I thought that was a board decision as well last season when he played. Yeah. I thought right. it was a board I thought it was a board decision to get him 
in the first team, a run of games, get people noticing him, scouts, this, that, other. Yeah. A bit like a bit like when uh, Civic were playing of a uh, uh, Solbauer. Mm. There were young young lad where obviously Solbauer never had a sell on thing at his age. Mm. So they're thinking, oh, we need to we need to uh, we need to blood uh, get, go on Civic and run it side, get Tim's looking, watching him. We might get a bit too- I could go back even further because I think they did it with Tiam, Cavari and Pineos. Yeah. So yeah. I could go back. That was 2018. And they were still good enough to play it side. But because they went over 25, mm. there were surplus to requirements according to this board. Yeah, I agree. And, that, and this is one of, arg- and this is one of my arguments. Not every player has to have a sell-on thing. You can have a mixture. You don't have to sell one to ele- one to eleven. It got to have a price tag on on the back. Uh, on a chaplain's comments of the week. It well, it's just... exactly right. It's yeah. exactly right. Yeah, it's exactly right. And people people said said things about it, and well, they're, that's their opinion. It, it, you know what I mean? I've got to respect that. But we know we all know what it is. It's sometimes true hurts, doesn't it, Neil? That's it. That's it. And I think the more fans will realise what's happening and what it's not just a new thing, it's been happening for years. What's no, happening no. Under, under these is that now it's like, oh, we haven't got a striker, we haven't got a striker. Look at the bigger picture, look at the reason why we haven't got a striker. Because the money's coming out from these players, what's getting sold, not getting invested in club. Mm. My question is, why does why do we this season have to make up this six or seven million pound deficit this season? Why? Why couldn't it have been done over a couple of seasons? Like your other, exactly. your other clubs that have come down, you look at them, yeah. and they, yeah. they haven't said, a, oh, quick fire sale, we'll get you to all these. I understand we need Is to it? sell a couple of them. Fine, not a problem. But come on, really? Well, that's what I'm saying. Styles and, obviously, Styles and Elliot, what main two, mm. uh, Wood, and Woodrow, sorry, I'd have, kept, I'd have personally kept Morris. I felt said that before. Yeah. Uh, but I totally agree what you said. Why does it have to cap this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this loan to EFL ain't got to be paid back straight away. No. So we ain't going to worry about that. But like that, it's a brilliant point, Neil, that. Why does it have to be of a, uh, this season? Why can't we even say, like, settle on half? Or like I said to you over week when I come on, Board could have put half a deficit in and then we could have kept as better players and then they go for promotion. Yeah. Agreed. We are we are getting more and more and more into debt. Mm-hmm. At least have a go this season. Like I said, if you can get it playoffs, what could happen once you hit playoffs? Yeah, it, it's knockout football. So, and then you go back. To, you're back in championship then, and you're recouping your money then, and then the debts then. Well, they're not debts, are they? As, as such, mm. the money, the, the the financially, club will be club will be more stable. I get what you're saying. Does it have to? Do we have to worry about it this season? But it's coming over that we do. Mm, that's what. I'm <laughs> so that, yeah, it's like we've got to do it all in one go. And 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 like obviously, that's saying to, we know we we know where to stabilize, but not to this extent because now it's looking like we are we are bored saying that uh, the. It's all about just consolidating and finish halfway. So it's like mm. seasons get up on already, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I know what you but, mean. Yeah. But they, they're not going to say that. No, no. But that's how it's coming across, isn't it? Re- bet- reading between lines. Yeah, you can tell, I think, this way, the recruitment side and what's what's been happening is that, yeah, you've got to back your manager. I mean, we've got a decent coach who's coming in. He, he seems to want his standards and his, his things in place. But at the end of the day, if you don't give him tools to work with, he only can work with what he's got. And at this moment in time, I am looking at it, it's like an unbalanced squad yet again because we seem to have quite a fair few midfielders. Defence is more or less sorted out now with that uh, kid coming in. But up front, it's like unbalanced because Woodrow's gone. Uh, Morris has gone. Adebayo went, uh, yeah. George Miller went, but there's been like it seems to have been a, a get short, get him off at books and all. But hold on a minute, we're too lightweight. 
you, you're expecting young uns to come through when people have been saying that young uh, Jallo from under 20 is 16 year old. You, mm, can't, it's, expect, it's, you can't rely on bloody young uns again. Well, you read in March, you can't do it. You can't do well, it. No, you can't put your hat on that Jalo yet. He needs integrating slowly, don't he? Like, mm. uh, uh, so who we got up with Cole? Obviously, no, it's no one suspended tomorrow. Probably, I don't know if it count. Probably, I don't I'm think I'd sure. include him in squad me for what he did. And let, well, let I, ain't, I, I ain't see. Well, he did let team down, didn't he? Like, I ain't yeah. seen it. Like, uh, and that would obviously, have Gaffer to come out and even say it was idiot, it, it was idiotic. You know, many of oh. them turned around and said, well, I didn't rate see it, or something. but he came out and said, he's let the team down, he's let the young players down, and more important, he's let the fans down. He says, good, no good. Need. And I thought, fair good. play. Yeah, good, fair Neil. Play. Yeah, listen, listen. That's what we want to hear, mate, as supporters. Honest. Yeah, and say Honesty. Yeah. And I'd like, I wish Board had uh, be like that at times. <laughs> I know. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> but I've yeah. said it, Neil. I've said it, Neil. If they come out and said it and tell the truth and be honest and that, fans would be upset and it wouldn't like it, but they'd accept it coming from yeah. them. Not all this, uh, all shush and secretive and this, that, other. Mm. Yeah, but... Uh, <coughs> so we got to... Uh, go on, I know what... Up front, you could have uh, Aitchison. Cole. Cole. Aitchison, Cole. Uh, is it Ted Itch, yeah? Ted Itch, yeah. No, that, did you go? No, I would. Uh, so we've got players, but are they good enough? Are they good mm. enough? Uh, uh, oh, will they score enough goals? Should be the uh, yeah. question. Yeah. Will, will they score enough goals? Because whilst I don't think I don't think we get dragged into a relegation, but mm. it's all right talk about it, it, it. You know what I'm saying? If we don't score goals. Mm. We could get to March, April, yeah. February, March, and we could be, you know what I mean? Yeah. And this is the thing, this is the thing, and I know it's a long way away. So, you look at pictures need... for either coming up midweek, week, and midweek, week, and it do not take long to, to slip behind or, or out, does it? Does it take? Does it mm. take if you go on a bad run, Neil? And you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I'd like to think we're better than that. I'd like to get dragged into it. We are uh, bigging us up as a, uh, to get dragged into all like that. But funnier things have happened, then it like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not, yeah. if you're not scoring, if you're not scoring, you're not winning games. I mean, I mean, yeah. go on. Yeah, on about scoring and that. I mean, we're coming up against Sheffield Wednesday. I mean, look at them. I mean, Dan and Moore's got them going right. I know. You know, no. and they've, they've invested and recruited well there, and we're going to be checking there. I mean, I kind of look at this game, me, I mean, it'll be always a, a place yeah. to go in it, you know, fan base and everything like that, no matter what you say about them. They're, they're going to be up for it, and I I, I, I kind of dread to think it's a goal score, me there. I, I, I don't know. Well, don't know. I'll be honest, I'll be honest with you, Neil. Mm. I know we, I know, I, I know where you're coming from. They're playing well. We're struggling, uh, but and everything does seem to go against us at Hillsborough. Mm. But form does go out at window in the local derby. Yeah, I'm, I'm clutching at straws here. I'm trying. No, to no, get, it's right. Uh, yeah, it's right. It's right. <laughs> it does. Form, form tends to go out at window in the local derby. I'm trying to find ways to try and uh, <laughs> uh, ease the blow. <laughs> well, listen, all we've got to do is go out there from first whistle and get everything, put us mm. tackles in, chase, mark as men, chase, work as hard as they can, and you never know. Mm. You never know you might get rewards. I'd like to think tomorrow, though, uh, a, cha a change of formation tomorrow, all right, yeah. I, uh, and I won't, I won't, I'd go a flat back for me mm. and, and five in middle. Mm. Or I'd go four, four, one, one. I'd have okay. two banks, I'd have two banks of four, a centre forward, and either play Thomas off striker or H is an off striker and let uh, Thomas play wide right, if not. Mm. 
Mick and is then solid. Well, yeah. yeah, Mick, Mick is hard to beat. Yeah. Mick is, listen, that was an eight point last week at Ipswich. I don't care what anybody yeah, says. Yeah. yeah, of course it was, yeah. It's Come an eight point. Twice and all. Come back twice exactly, and all. exactly. Yeah. So, do you know what I mean? If the, if we get another point tomorrow at Hillsbury, that'll be an eight point. Yeah, that'll be a result, yeah. I've always said, I've always said, you win your own games, out's a bonus away, point away, you'll be up there like, but obviously you have to win your own games as well. But like I said, all they've got, to, it's a local, it should mean, back in day, it meant some of the uh, local yeah. derbies because most of the squad were from Barsley, most of the squad were from Sheffield, so it meant something. It were like, oh, Sheffield, you know what I mean? It meant something. Mm. I bet nowadays there ain't hardly any other from area. That's how it's got now. So yeah. so I tend to think a lot of local derbies now are a bit watered down to what they used to be. Mm. But, it, it, I mean, we we class it as our big game. Like, don't we? I know a lot of people say they're not, but it is, I think. Yeah. Them and Leeds. Them and Leeds. Uh, Obviously, they don't class us Wednesday, like, but 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 it all can happen. We've just got to the player sends. We've just got to play us sends. Make us sends hard to beat. We might be ugly, be ugly, like we want to be again. We, we Ishmael, be ugly. Yeah. All right, we were winning games under this, but be ugly. Make us yeah. hard to beat. It's a start, then. Mm. It's a start. You know what I'm saying? So. I think a lot of, I mean, some of the new players, this is going to be interesting and all because you see, you, you, I kind of see the players what I've gone out. I mean, Cam Sounds has gone out and he's been starting regular. But you look at Elik, he won't start in the season. Clark Adua, he'd been drifting in and out. So for me, it, it, it all depends on how we're going to set up. And like you said, Via, if you're going to go far at back, which he has, which he has been known to do, hasn't he? he's been trying to mm. change it and try that. I think all players need to, like what you've said, they, they need to turn up on day and treat it and respect it and play it. Yeah. Not to not to turn up and odd one or two have a, a decent game. They all need to play as a team because if you don't, you'll get a fan out. And mm. you all, everybody needs to be switched on, don't we? Everybody needs well, to be switched on. Like I say, they, it, it switch. The, of course they're the Wednesday flying at the minute, right? They can be bet. But going back to that, we are like, I'm reading the recent squad for Huddersfield tomorrow, so it's this a bit. Well, like I work we, with a mate. Yeah, I work at I work with a mate, and he's an Huddersfield Town fan, and he said that um, we've signed him, and he'll be going to the squad soon. I went, well, it'd be interesting that then. I said because he hadn't played since last season, he entered the pre-season, he hadn't played mm. feature at all for us. Yet all of a sudden, he said like, he said, oh yeah, uh, we signed him, he's going to be going to the squad. I mean, yeah, right, so that'd be interesting. We, so who's who, who's lied at club then about that saying mm. the going back to what we've said about exactly honesty, uh, honest, and being honesty. Right. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, so that comes back to that because uh, it'll have been no. Uh, we don't want him getting injured because we need we want we get we we get that, but don't lie to us. Well, we get look it. At last season, Steve, with uh, visa issues. Oh, yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Another point. Yeah. You know, you can go on, yeah. can't you, mate? You know, it's yeah. like via. So, again, we're not like saying, you know, making stuff up. You look back on certain areas at season, what's happened, covering yeah. lies, lies. Just just come out and say it, what it is. Yeah. Visa issues. Right. We might not like it, but like you said, Steve, we'll respect him a bit more because you've been honest about yeah. it and tell it. Don't, yeah. don't cover all you'll get fan art. You get fan art at end, don't you? Of course you do. Of course you do. And uh, and we'll going on to that. Going on to that with style. With, with what's happened with styles. Hmm. Uh, obviously, we ever, wanted to. Just before, just before you say that, Steve, do you ever see him coming back and playing in a boundless shirt again? No, 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 I don't. No, no. We wanted to. Obviously, we've tried to sell him. Hmm. No, there were no suitors. So they've done the next best thing. And I've seen him sign a new contract up to two, uh, up to 25. Yeah. Uh, he's obviously gone to Millwall in championship. But he's, because championship will be win the more than he is in uh, League One. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? To get there's more exposure in championship, yeah. isn't there? Of course. You know what I mean? So people's going to see him. Obviously, Millwall are going to look at him, and obviously they might decide they want to buy him. Blah blah blah. So it's a good thing, really, what clubs done. But club would have liked to have got him. We've got him off wages, haven't we? Yeah. I, just, yeah. I think I, I reading Millwall are paying his wages. Mm. Uh, and obviously they'll have paid a small fee for his loan. Yeah. So I get all that. And that, uh, obviously then, is it there well January then? Uh, for a season, for a season. Oh, right. So it's there for a season. So yeah. come summer then, it's back with us. Mm. If not, uh, a bit, uh, oh, bit switch. Millwall, will they have first dibs on him? I don't know. But yeah, he's he... open to other offers. Yeah. So it's time now for him to roll his sleeves up and knuckle down mm. and get back to playing something like he was under under Ishmael, but which is probably his best position. Mm. I've I've also said you could try him out left hand side in the front three if you play four three three. Mm. Uh, because in midfield, I don't. Think, it might have been better in midfield. We better players around him, mm. but and and I'm going back to that what I said to you before last season in the struggling side. If he were that good, he just stood out. He stood out, yeah. I don't know if we are thinking, us as fans are thinking, he was a better player than what he was, mm. than what he is. Sorry, what yeah. he is. But listen, he's still all young and there's time on his side. And I get that, and it, it's next best thing for club. Obviously, they'd have liked to fetch the transfer fee in. But they wouldn't have got all that straight up front, Neil. No. If we'd have, no. If we'd have sold it for two million, it, uh, one and a half million, it would have probably been 500k in instalments three times over the... Oh, over yeah. the so we wouldn't have seen that. We wouldn't have got that straight in. No. No. You know what I mean? It don't happen down. I don't think that a lot of a lot of clubs do it like that. It's like spread out, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, it's spread out. I get it. Sometimes it's a good thing because you know you've got it to come in. Mm. Uh, and I mean, obviously, we did need it to be honest. Obviously, to to balance to balance books on that for losses, but it what next best thing? And these are buyout clause in it as well. I've I've been reading, but. Obviously, I don't, I don't know what we, we might not get to know what that is. Mm, yeah. Until well, until it happens, obviously. Yeah, be interesting to see what happens if it if it gets triggered, like you said. Is, but be also kind of sorts of terms and conditions and clauses and stuff like that, isn't it? to make it try and yeah. make it a bit more appealing to, but like buying club to make it. You know, we, yeah. we want to get him off at books, but we also put in X, Y, Z into it, contract and all, but. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. If he does all right at Millwall, they, they, there's no reason why they couldn't sign him. Mm. Mm. You get what I mean? So it's a ball's in Stars' court now. Yeah, it's down to him now, isn't it? It's down to him. He's got his move. It's, well, I'll be, t I'll be on loan. Mm. But prove, prove his sin now. Then, and then uh, they'll, teams will come in for him. There you be go. Interesting watch, wouldn't it? This season, be interesting watch. See what happens to him and see if. Uh, I mean, we we don't know. It, we don't know if El if anybody else coming for Elliot, do we? So. No, that's true. We said the term bids down and back, but again, you go you go back to honesty, don't you? Well, <laughs> what's, really, uh, well really. and what and what's figure what's figure from Huddersfield one point five? Well, undisclosed, but uh -huh. I'm looking. I'm yeah. But I'm I'm room I'm thinking it's round about one and a half because that's what we're rumored to be to that Polish side, won't we? When he was supposed to be linking up beer. So again, well, the mark, one and a half way, there might be some add on there'll be some add ons on and all yeah. that. That that might rise to two in yeah. total. Yeah. We add ons. Yeah. All uh, keeps us as fans wondering, doesn't it? I mean at one <laughs> Is it worth more? You could argue when you look at other transfers from other teams, you could have said at least three. Mm. But yeah, you don't know. But they're only worth what clubs are willing to pay, though, Neil. Like that, so that's it. And if it's not a bidding war going off with two teams after him, then 
Exactly. Well, you know, exactly. What you've got to do, don't you? Face value. Exactly. So. But uh, so we fetch three new lads in, with a wing back, wing back, attacking midfielder, and a central midfielder. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, and that that one of them midfielders could actually play a wing back as well and wing Carly. Yeah, as far as I know, yeah, uh, I think it's yeah. Josh Martin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Josh Martin. He'll not, uh, I'm hearing good things about him actually. Yeah. Uh, that other lad won at Stoke, uh, right oh, back, Tom, but I can't. Yeah, Tom Edwards. Apparently, I can't remember him. Apparently, last season he's played under Strawberry in America. Yeah, yeah, I've Red seen Bulls, that. So, I can't, but I can't remember ever seeing him with Stoke. No, no. He's played 50 odd appearances for him, apparently. So. And who, what, and who else other kid uh, did you say? Uh, Adam Phillips. Adam uh, Phillips from t- Burnley. So, is he come from Burnley Academy? Uh, well, he started off at Blackburn Academy, went to Liverpool, went on to what it Blackburn, and then no, sorry, then he went on to Burnley, um, mm. and then he did a bit there. But I think Duff knows him previous to Duff being there with Youngins, so he kind of knows him a bit like a Benson. <clears throat> yeah, well, that's a good that's thing, a good so, thing then. Yeah, and he's twenty four, I believe, on a three year contract. So again, yeah, know, with 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 a look, man, if if. Uh, Duff knows about him, and I, and I'm I'm reading as well. Duff men wanted these three, mm. so Duff said a set in in Evan V's. Duff said a set. We I, I hope it's true that and he has, and mm. he ain't been and he ain't been uh, given them because uh, I know they're only rumours. He has said blah blah blah, but. Uh, I'm hearing he didn't want Ted H. Yeah. So I'm hearing certain you know things, I mean? but I don't know what. Yeah, I think it's no, like dis- no disrespect to Ted H. Like I, I don't think he he, he, want, he wanted it, it, that particular signing. Like, hmm. uh, but when but, you look at him in club now, you think he's you know he's going to have to do a job for us because he's well, starting to get more involved in first team, isn't he? Listen, throw him in. Throw him in, he'll be raw. He's come from the academy. He's not played first team games at City. Throw him in. You never know. You never yeah. know. He, 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 end it there, Neil. What else is there to do? You might as well just try try different things. Yeah. Try different things. Uh, I, wonder, I wonder if Kane's uh, available tomorrow. I know... Yeah, Dan Finau uh, didn't he in uh, Pizza ah, Talker, didn't he? Yeah, he's, he's, he's obviously not going to be match fit, but I wonder if he'll be in thing for tomorrow then. I wonder if uh, there's no been no reoccurrence after he played like. Mm. I know he took him off like that, obviously, to wrap him up, obviously. You've got to bring him back slowly. Yeah, yeah. Because he'll, he, he, listen, if he's fit, and that's going to be like a new signing. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, of course. And, is, yeah. and like I say, I've got, I've, I've put my hat on Benson this season, and uh, obviously I didn't go to it switch. Obviously I didn't go over the heat, but games when I've been to, he's looked as good as out on field. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, obviously dropped down a level, and he's looked as good as out. And I put my hat on him, and I, I said I think he'll be all right. I actually thought. Uh, what they call it might have been all right in this in League One. Uh, go on, we let him go, didn't we? Palmer. Yeah. Yeah. I I I I, I thought he might have been all right in League One. Mm. There's a massive gap, Neil. Massive gap mm. uh, in 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 quality and and and, and thing at game pace at game. This there's massive gaps, and I thought. Uh, he did get criticised and rightly so with some of his stuff but kid could play a bit so it was too early just to palm him off I thought maybe he see what it's like this season in, in League One but mm. what do I know like they let him go didn't they so yeah well the offered contract art, um I think for him in whatever, Adebay Asia and they both didn't sign it straight away so I think they waited for Duff to come in then they extended it and then the fourth did sign it, and I think Adebayo went to Burton, and he went off to Turkey, didn't he, uh, Palmer? So 
whether they thought, right, I want to move elsewhere, better careers, or, you know, we've had enough, and I suppose it's time to play or possible agent, you, you don't know, because agents have a lot to say mm. in running at stuff like now with the, the clients, as we like to call them, don't we? Oh, so, God, they're, they're a scourge on game, mate. They're a scourge yeah. on game. I think it's playable. Yeah. It's always behind the scenes, isn't it? So, Steve, it's been great to talk to you because we've, we've covered players and we've covered Sheffield Wednesday game. So, as always, um, it's a pleasure having you on. It's great to chat to you, mate. So, uh, everybody watching, every comment, every said below, uh, Steve's already said um, about the players, what's coming. Obviously, uh, players that, you know, we'd like to see in a striker. Have you say what you think transfer window's gone uh, for us, uh, this, this closing it to August? Obviously, if there's going to be a January transfer window coming up, who, who knows what's going hey, to be brought me, in, we, You can still bring unattached players in, can't you? Yeah. If you're unattached, or, yeah, yeah, you can, yeah. Yeah, that's, so, that's going to throw an EFL rule in or something like so that. The, so, so, so you never know, they might, they, might, they might drop on a striker there. Yeah, there could be works in irons in fire kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, you never know. And identified it and said, yeah, do you know? I mean, going back... Available? I forgot to mention, uh, Neil, sorry for interrupting you. Well, we've let Styles go there to Huddersfield. We could have had that striker from there, you know, who's gone to Portsmouth. Yeah. Uh, go on, Corona. Yeah. Josh yeah. Corona. Josh Corona. Yeah. yeah. He, he linked back up with Cowley because Cowley's down at Portsmouth now, isn't he? Like, yeah. So, well, yeah. Why, why, am, why am we used this Elik? Like a leverage kind of thing. As part, as, yeah, and got him in. Hmm. You know what yeah, I mean? He's, well. Don't have to move. Lives obviously, obviously must live round Yorkshire if he played at Huddersfield. Yeah, it's done, it's done, don't, don't have to move. Just that road, perfect yeah. for him. Yeah. We, I think we might have missed a trick there. No, no, you're right, yeah. And you don't uh, see it often did, now in game, do you? Play it like No, no. Game. You don't see it like often now, which is weird. Did... Yeah. Uh, did nobody sign Stockton then? No, right, so you Stockton. know, nobody signed Stockton, nobody signed down for me. So, again, um, it'd be interesting to see what happens with him. It'd be interesting to see what happens with him. No, nobody must, nobody must have, nobody must have rated him, rated no. or thought he could make, make, make him make team better. But at this see minute in time, I thought he was worth a good mate. I yeah, do. I mean, if he's transfer listed, see what happens in January, he might get him down for a bit more or less yeah. surprised if he's out of contract end of the season. So, uh, no, I don't know. We'll see what happens at weekend. So, Steve, it's been great to have you on as always. Uh, I know what is. On soon. One thing left to say, you Reds.